Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm hoping you're having a wonderful day and I guess if you're watching this video, it's either you are curious or you've asked the question as to when is the right time to move on. In whatever, in what, whatever endeavor or situation you, that might be holding you back is, right? If you're new here, my name is Paco Ares Paco Chaga. I am a musician, I'm a vlogger, I'm a father to five kids, a husband to a lovely wife, and a motivational speaker to my friends. And since you've become one of them, you are now considered my friend. So welcome to the channel, sit back. The simple answer to your question is now. Now is the right time to move on. If you've started to ask the question, then typically in your head, you've made the decision to move on. You just don't know how to implement that decision. So what we need to do is we need to help you manifest that, that process so that you're not having to look back or stay stuck wherever it is that is holding you back. Let's talk, for instance, about relationship. Are we talking about a recent divorce or um, were you dumped or cheated on or stuff or, or, or all of the above? I remember my friend, um, we'll call him Jeremy. And I hope he's uh, watching. Let's change his name. Let's call him Ken. So when, when <laughs> those names are, are fictitious, but I do have a friend, okay? And if he's watching, he'll know that this is him. So Ken recently got divorced from his wife. And he was like, uh, dude, I don't know. Um, when, when do I know it's really over? When do I know it's time to move on? And I go, when you're asking me that question, you're playing with the thought that the only thing we need to discover on, or uncover is what's holding you back. And I joked, I go, when you find yourself naked in one of the corners of your room, crying in a fetal position, then you know you've reached rock bottom. And once you're there, there's nowhere else to go but up or stay there, which in the long run could um, make you look pathetic. So let's set that aside. Now, for some of us, it's hard to move on. And there are three components as to why it's very difficult to take the first step forward. Most of us, myself included, at, uh, at um, one point in my life, there's that thought of uh, revenge. Can it be? This can't be happening. You get laid off or fired from a job you want to get back, right? Or you got cheated on, you want to get back. Or your boyfriend or girlfriend dumps you for no apparent reason, you want to get back. Someone uh, bullied you back in elementary or high school, you want to get back. So there's always that factor of taking revenge. And you know for a fact that at the back of your mind, if you say, okay, I'm going to move on, that means you're giving the other person a, a get out of jail card. That may be your, your mindset, but the reality is moving on has no benefit to the person that caused you grief in the first place. Moving on is for your own benefit. It's for you. So you need to do this because you can't be stuck in that situation because that situation will be part of the past and you cannot be stuck in the past. So what do you need to do to move on? I'll give you three things. There are definitely more, but I'll give you three things. I'll give you three steps that will help you move on. And the first one is forgiveness. And I'm not talking about forgiving um, the person that offended you. I'm talking about for you forgiving yourself. You need to forgive yourself. 
you need to forgive yourself for for thinking of crazy ideas and thoughts you need to forgive yourself for thinking about revenge you need to you need to uh, detox your mind of all those negativity now you also need to forgive the person that offended you whether it's your manager uh, your friend your ex-lover your 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 parents your children anybody who offended you anybody who caused you grief anybody who caused you to be in the situation you're in you need to forgive them too and the reason why is because it's very hard to do this to others it's easy but to most of us it's difficult but when you forgive you're not pressing a reset button to continue on another relationship with whoever this person is you're willing to forgive because you are willing to let go and just break the chains because you can't move on if you're um, if you're still chained to that situation so forgiving is pretty much cutting ties with whoever it is that cost you cost you grief so that's the first step the second step is to let go I'm not saying forget I'm just saying let go in other words uh, someone owed you money what are you going to do are you going to stress yourself out thinking about the money that was owed you or are you just going to let it go because when you let it go you're able to to think ahead and probably in a few months a few years whatever amount of money that is or was you're able to get it back I've made investment decisions that um, have made me scratch my head ever heard of Bitcoin all that stuff um, that was one of the smartest and dumbest decisions I've ever made but I had to let it go I'm just talking to you about it right now because um, I'm giving a situation that's in the past I've actually um, gained back my loss in terms of uh, other investments but that'll always be part of the experience and part of the learning curve the learning process so you have to let go and part of letting go is learning learning from your mistakes or learning from your bad decisions because you know like um, whatever got you to where you were that caused you grief there was a decision making process involved and whether it's a relationship an investment a job opportunity a job loss whether it's um, uh, having an argument with your parents that caused both of you to fight or an argument with your child that caused both of you to fight there was a decision to actually argue and fight so you guys need to learn if the other person won't if the other person won't learn you need to learn you need to um, oh I, I remember this a situation like this will lead to that so what do you do you step back you avoid and you don't go there because you'll only mess it up so again going back first step is to forgive yourself and the person who offended you the second step is to let go let go of the offend uh, uh, the the offense and and the situation that caused you grief and the third step is to learn from it once you've applied those three steps you should be good to go now I know it sounds easy when I'm talking to you about it but make no mistake um, it really takes a while there will be moments where it will just hit you in the head and you you'll be like wow what wow wow I can't believe that happened but what are you going to do about it right if it's a relationship if you're if you're if you're stuck in past relationships you won't be able to love again 
you won't be able to move forward and fall in love again. Now, it's uh, it's like gravity, right? At first, it's hard to get lift because gravity is pulling you down. But give it some time. The most amount of effort is during the beginning beginning stage. And then after that, trust me, it will be easy from then on. To the point that when you look back, you'd be going, wow, I was able to get over that hump. Then, repeat. Because I guarantee you, up to the up to the moment of death, you will always experience heartaches, griefs, disappointments. And the question is not whether you fall. You will always fall. The question is, will you get up from that fall? So again, if you want to know when it's time to move on, the answer is now. You will fail, but go cold turkey. After watching this video, say bye-bye to the past and say hello to your new future. So that's it. If you like what you just uh, saw, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if it helped you. If you know somebody who's stuck in the moment, share this video with that person. If you haven't subscribed and you're wondering how to subscribe, please, I hope you have a Google account, a Google, a, a Gmail uh, email address is what you need in order for, for you to be a subscriber of mine. Shiviano, but that's it. Again, this is Paco Aras, Paco Chaga. I'm glad I was able to share something with you. Now you go make it a great day.